Ravens flock, what's going on? Let's go! I hope you guys are ready. This is our Christmas Eve. I'm recording this on a Saturday. Hopefully, I release it the same day. Tomorrow, in less than 24 hours, our reign of dominance is about to begin. We're starting off the week. and I mean, we're starting off the season in what I believe is probably the easiest possible way. I know a lot of people kept complaining about how we should put starters in during the preseason. I disagree with that, obviously, especially with all we've been through. It's not worth the risk. I'd rather play it safe. Some people called it playing scared. I'm cool with that. I think Harbaugh did the right thing there. But this, to me, is definitely going to be like the equivalent of our preseason game. Just in case we have any kinks to work out on either side of the ball, the first three weeks, two out of these three games, I don't even think it's going to be close personally. But still, to get, to, I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm getting hyped up right now. Tomorrow, we start the season. We're, we're at the bank. We're playing the Texans. The season is here. Real quick, before I actually get into the game, obviously, some, some general NFL news. I know a lot of people were talking about uh, Burrow, uh, Burrow got paid. And a lot of people were calling out the hypocrisy of of how, pe- how the media has handled Joe Burrow's contract situation in contrast to how they han- how the media handled the Mars situation. And I definitely agree. I think it's really hypocritical because for so long, the media kept saying how somehow Lamar was being greedy and not being smart about the situation. And they kept saying, hey, Joe Burrow is a class act. He's going to take a team-friendly deal to keep all his receivers together. And now we're sitting here and Joe Burrow's laughing all the way to the bank. Macaulay Culkin is out here with the bag. He's not playing with y'all. He said, F them. Um, excuse, he said, F them three amigos. We're going to have to drop one of them, maybe two of them. Because, again, T. Higgins is out the door, obviously. They, they, they're they not going to let Jamar go. But I think Tyler Boyd's on the contract for another year, another year or two. Either way, it's definitely hypocritical that people tried to vilify Lamar for wanting to go get his money. But I ain't really too caught up on that right now. Again, tomorrow is week one. We play the Texans. When we look at the injury report, this is easily the healthiest we have been in about three years. Which saying that out loud is kind of mind-blowing, but it's a fact. I can't think of the last time we were this locked and loaded going into the beginning of the season. It's been a while. You look at our injury report. The only person who's like guaranteed to not play, obviously, is Marlon Humphrey. He still got the the foot situation, so he's not going to be back for a couple weeks at least. Mark Andrews is also in the injury report. They're saying he has a quad injury. They're saying he might play tomorrow. I doubt he will. If if I'm if I'm Harbaugh, I'm not putting him in. It's not worth taking that risk, especially when we have one of the deepest tight end rooms in the NFL. Isaiah Likely, even though he he may not be as good as Andrews, he's still a beast in his own right. And if you give him the opportunity, like we seen last year, when you give Isaiah the opportunity, he's gonna ball out. So we'll be we'll be fine in that regard. Uh, Ronnie Stanley's also on the injury report, but he had um, a limited. He actually did practice yesterday on Friday, and Odell was also on the injury report. But again, he actually had a full practice. So if I'm not mistaken, Ronnie only had like a limited practice. But either way, it's a very high probability that really both of them are gonna play. The only players. Who might not play is we know Marlowe's not playing and maybe Andrews isn't playing either just to be safe I don't have a whole lot else to add outside of that oh um real quick actually um on the Texan side of things their injury report they got essentially the same amount of players also in their injury report I'm not too familiar with any of these players on their list outside of um Jimmy Ward but the re- but still their full injury list is Blake Cashman Johnny Mechie Jimmy Ward Christian Harris and Dare, oh, I hope I don't butcher his name, but it's um Dare Ugan Bowale. They're all dealing with hamstring, hip injuries, and shoulder injuries. Three out of those five people are playing. The only person who's most likely going to play is maybe Christian Harris. And then um, the running back, um, Dare, um, I'm just going to call him Wale. He's questionable. But regardless of their roster, it really doesn't matter. They do have talent, obviously. Um, the young running back, Damian Pierce, like obviously C.J. Stroud. But again, these are still young players. C.J. Stroud's a rookie. Will Anderson's a rookie. They got rid of Brandon Cooks. Uh, 
Tank Dell is a rookie. Like, there's talent on that team, but that team's too young and in a completely different place from where we're at. We're literally primed, locked, and loaded to go out here and shock the world. It's not going to be close. I would be shocked if we only won by 10 points or less. I would be shocked. Not too shocked, obviously, because it's any given Sunday. But still, I would be shocked. My score prediction is 42 to 14. I don't think it's going to be close. But again, we'll see. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to win? And if you think we're going to win, what is the final score that you think is going to happen? It is time. Let's rejoice. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. It's about to be a crazy season.